Let me go to the second part, insha'Allah. Oh brothers, subhanAllah, the dates that we ate outside, they're beautiful dates. Beautiful. MashaAllah, those dates we ate, MashaAllah, they cost $60 a box. $60 a box in here in America. And Muslim, he eat them very good, nice. And we drink in beautiful water, MashaAllah, even we had some kind of milk. Allahu Akbar. But think about this. Your Muslim brothers and sisters in Somalia, in East Africa, 23,000 to 27,000 babies and children is dying every month. Think about that when you eat those dates and when you drink that water and when you go and make wudu and you take three minutes, seven minutes to make nice wudu in three minutes time, if you let the water run, may Allah bless the people who designed this masjid because the water goes off automatically and comes on. So maybe I can't blame the people here for that. That's real nice. But that is not because the Muslims are conscious. It's because the people who built the masjid was conscious. Most Muslims, if you watch them, they take between three to five minutes of the water running by like that because he's making nice wudu. In three to five minutes, the amount of water that goes down the drain can feed, can give enough water for 150 people to drink for a week. Measure that by 100 Muslims making wudu five times a day and see, subhanAllah, if your prayers will be answered. What I want to say, brothers and sisters, is this. There are many different groups, 501c3, non-for-profit organizations. Muslims have here in America about 27 of them. And they're raising money for Somalia, East Africa. May Allah bless them because it is said by the scientific people, by the educated people who do the statistics around the world, by the UN, they said that this is the worst humanitarian crisis in the last 60 years. And the Muslim countries were the last ones to come and give. Last ones. The biggest givers to this here is the Mormons from Utah. The Mormons from Utah, while we've been sleeping, they took an entire state. There are only 2.6 million Mormons in this country, but they control a whole state. Wallahi, there's about 8 million Muslims, but we're just like wet matches. You can't strike nothing until you recycle them. They beat us in everything because we are the last. We think about ourselves first. So these 27 groups, they have been asking me for the last couple of years, Sheikh, please come with us, mashallah, do the tashkil for us, help us to raise the money, and we do. We do that. But I get tired of that. I say, brothers, look, one come run after another. They come every week, the same masjid, raising money for the same thing, and they're not even collaborating together. What happened? They forgot about Ta'aranu. They forgot about Ta'awan. They forgot about Tawasaw. Why are they all coming separate, separate, separate? The UNICEF don't do that. The Red Cross don't do that. The, 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 the B'nai B'rith Society, they don't do that. The Catholic Relief Services don't do that. Why are the Muslims are so disorganized? Why? Because it's built upon thought from the beginning. So I told those brothers, you want me to go out with you? I go out with you. I go out with the Jamaat Tabliq also. We can do Joda, whatever you want to do. But we got to do it together. So we are putting together a platform, an umbrella, that we can all uniform what we're doing and we can schedule coming to this masjid, schedule going to that masjid. Or if this is not big enough, we will rent a stadium and do something like Somali Relief to 50,000 people. And then after that, we will raise the money. But that's not enough just to feed the people short term. Food? Medicine and water is vital, but that's only short term. We have to think long term. And what is long term? Giving the people something that they will empower themselves, that within three, four, five years, they themselves, mashallah, they don't have to beg anymore. They have the solution for themselves. Muslims, we're no longer planners. We're just reactors. And so I'm suggesting to all of you, we have a project. 
that we are embarking upon is called dig a well. Dig a well. Not with your hands, they have high technology now. To dig a well. In seven days, the well is dug in place and pumping water into a container to give the people water from under the ground. We don't have to work, wait for the clouds. We don't have to worry about the energy because the sun is always there. We make solar panels and the wind is going and we make you know, wind turbines and that drills into the ground and gets the water, puts it into containers. Then after that, the people can bottle it. They can sell it. They have for their livestock. They can now grow their own food in three to five years. That village is empowered. This is called long term. So if anybody would like to get the thawab, to get the agile of a village, drinking water from the well that you built, it costs 10,000. 10,000, and imagine this. Don't think about the alpha that comes only once a year. Think about a village of maybe 350 people who's drinking water from the well that you built. This is called Sadaqatun Jariah. This is what we're asking. If you want to give 100, give 100. If you want to give 50, give 50. But outside in that parking lot out there, I see 10,000, 30,000, 50,000, 70,000 dollar cars. And most of those people, they got two. I say build a well and get the agenda for that. Because when those people put up their hands and make dua for you, for the one who built that well, there is nothing between that dua and the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And look for a time if you can. Those Muslim ladies, their husbands, both of them have been killed already through the, the civil war. We're not talking about that. And they have five or six children. And when they're going looking for water, most of the children die before they get to the camp. But those ladies, mashallah, they have mashallah, they have ill. They have honor. They are still wearing their hijab. They are still wearing their niqab. And they are not complaining. And when the salah comes, they are praying, subhanAllah. So, O oh Muslims, no better day for you to dig a well or contribute to a well than tonight. Yeah.